Quad 66. Hey, check out what I got here. This is the HD0 build, finally. Ooh. Haven't had much flights on it other than a couple little night flights. Um, but this is the, a frame I've been working on for a while, uh, specifically for HD0. It's got a little bit of cage, a little bit more protection. Um, I am flying this on the Nano Light camera, which is their uh, kind of whoop weight camera. It's really light, 1.7, but I don't think it has the greatest lens, and I was actually slightly underwhelmed by it um, in terms of like not feeling like, oh wow, this is incredible, until I went ahead and put a analog back in there, and then when I saw the analog view, I was like, okay, yeah, this is legitimately better, but with that said, I am super interested to see um, how the uh, slightly bigger lens works. So this, um, uh, the board, the, what do you call it, the, the sensor. The sensor is the same sensor they use in the Rumcam Nano uh, V2, and I think it's probably a pretty good sensor. And with the V2 versus the Nano Lite, you just get a big, uh, bigger lens and um, quite a bit better detail and less what you would call like uh, haziness or however you want to describe that. Um, one of the things that's really impressed me, probably impressed me the most about this, is that the nighttime uh, view from the camera or uh, the light handling is a whole lot better at night than the analog. Um, it makes, for me, night flying back here um, uh, doable, whereas before it was kind of like I could come out here and do my little tuning stuff and whatnot, but I really wouldn't feel comfortable trying to do the little bush slalom, you know, coming in through here and stuff like that, just because I couldn't see well enough. And I certainly wouldn't go ahead and flip through here um, at night with any kind of confidence, but now with the HD0, I can, and it, it looks pretty good. Like, I can fly at night, so it opens up some hours for me in terms of flying. So that's that's really nice. Uh, I'm excited about that. These goggles, um, the screens are beautiful. Um, I wish you could see what I'm seeing right now. They are really nice. They are heavy, though. Um, there is a lot of mass on my face, and I don't have um, the expansion module to throw the analog on here. I am not excited, and I don't have any battery on it either, too. And it just, it's a big old chunky, heavy uh, goggle. It's a nice goggle, but and I think, I'm assuming that's just the, the reality that it's going to be when you're throwing um, a digital, but it is a chunky, heavy goggle. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to um, on my face. But there's a lot of good features about it in terms of the focus, the IPD adjustment is all great, um, all far better than what I'm used to with uh, Fat Shark uh, HD3s, which are now a little bit older. So in all fairness, Fat Shark, you know, maybe they've done better. But and also the DVR, which if you're watching this, you're seeing it. The DVR is a whole lot better. Uh, the one thing I still need to like work out is the mic. Um, I've got a little really cheap plug-in mic on the bottom here, and I don't know if it's picking up the motors um, as much as I like. Now, this is not a he not a loud quad, but I feel like you should be able to hear that probably a little bit more. Um, so I got to look at some mic options uh, because I think when you're when I'm testing, I agree with like Nick Burns um, that you want to hear the quad really well to hear it. All right. So this flight was on a, a quick-charged uh, tattoo battery, so this is the R-Line 550. You can see we got it to four minutes. That's not bad, and I was flying some freestyle. Um, so four minutes, that's not bad. I got to get used to the girth of the quad. This is obviously a little bit heavier girth, but yeah, a little teaser. Um, Warpig 122, uh, this is 3-inch 2S. On 1204s, uh, 3016 props, uh, war pig with a zero cage, and there's a little teaser for you. All right, till next time, cheers.